Hello everyone, welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Jason DeFossi from Trenton, Ontario. We're really excited to be delivering a unique topic specific to electric and hybrid vehicle response. In this segment, we're going to be talking about some advanced stabilization efforts. EVs are much different than our internal combustion counterparts. Their center of balance and weight is more located to the floor in such as our high voltage battery pack. Our stabilization team is going to come in and do some initial cribbing operations facilitated with some additional strut work. Keep in mind, the bottom of these vehicles are completely smooth. Do not lend themselves to any attachment points or contact points that you as a first responder have typically had at your disposal. What we're going to have now is we're going to have the team move in. We're going to demonstrate this, not interacting with high voltage components, and we're going to do that now. So what you see the firefighter doing here is coming in and capturing these, these points of contact. So under here he's placing an inverted step chuck underneath the B pillar to take any additional movements out and making it safe for those first initial contacts with our patient. Stabilizing, initial stabilization has been completed. Now our strut team is now going to move in on the front end of the vehicle and creating a triangle. All best practices when using struts is typically to create those triangles. We're using a rapid attack strut in this particular operation with a strapping passing through creating a cradle. Remember, we're trying to deliver soft touches on the vehicle. We don't have typical anchor points and things that we've used in the past. So as Jason starts to uh, get his strut set up, making some adjustments, and working with the other team on the underside. We have additional members moving in, not putting their hands under the load, and redeploying that strap underneath the vehicle. The spirit of this evolution is simply trying to create a cradle and supporting the weight of the vehicle on the straps itself. As we know, EVs are typically heavier than their internal combustion counterparts. However, with today's struts and shoring options, we can easily do this in a safe manner. So now what we have is you have the team moving in at the rear section of this EV using the new Hamatro shoring ops. The spirit of this one again is soft touches, creating those cradles. We're not at a point where we can make any punctures or interact with these high voltage components, which could result in an injury. Teams are working in tandem. If you'll notice, they're taking high anchor points on their struts. Now, for most guys, you're all used to looking at struts in a situation where we're making contact with frame rails and other body components. On an EV, on the high voltage battery side, the underside, this does not present itself as it's extremely smooth. Pull, strap. Pull the other one. Stop. Okay, black. Pull. Pull. Got it. Right. What you can see the team here uh, being called out by the roof side operator, getting everything in line, taking all the kinks out of the webbing, thus creating strength in the material. Ratcheting, capturing progress in one fluid movement. Good, excellent team. As per the operation that the team just demonstrated, you can see here on the front where we used a rapid attack strut, utilizing the features of that tool to quickly get underneath that vehicle and create that cradle to stabilize this EV. As you can notice on a true EV, it is smooth and it is flat, eliminating any of those interactions that we're traditionally used to. So the best way to do this is actually create these cradles using our columns to our advantage and tying them all back nice and neat, creating those triangles, increasing our stability and the footprint of the vehicle. I'm Jason. Thanks for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes.